Hello. Uh, well, <clears throat> as I said uh, earlier this week, I'm going to do, or I'm going to talk about uh, a filmography, filmography of Christopher Nolan, so I'm going to continue on with Memento. So now I'm going to actually say spoiler alert, because uh, this film actually is uh, better known uh, than following. Again, following, uh, unless you're into the kind of noir type stuff, or you're into Christopher Nolan's work, or so you want to see all of it. Um, uh, I don't know if many people have truly watched that film exactly. I mean, yes, Nolan fans have, but the average moviegoer, I'm not so sure. Um, I know this film... Uh, is uh, is better known uh, than that one, but uh, so I will be talking about this a bit more in depth. Uh, I'm not sure how much, but uh, uh, just enough to basically cover basics. Um, so the film stars a man named Leonard, played by Guy Pierce, who basically he has form of amnesia, it's like short-term memory loss, in that he can remember every single thing that happened, like every significant thing that happened in his life up until um, the death of his wife. Um, as the film goes on, you, you hear that, and then that plays a very important role. Like, did he see his wife die, or what? Because um, and the film is uh, it's it's basically backwards. Um, there's black and white sequences, um, and following that was in black and white. Um, um, but this film it's in color and black and white. Um, the color sequences, however, are like they're like, uh, essentially backwards. And at the very end of the whole film, the they the the, the Everything converges. It goes like from black and white into color, and um, it's quite uh, it's quite it's quite interesting to see that happen. Um, but yeah, and the black and white sequences are actually shown in chronological order. Like basically, when you look at them uh, structured, those are in chronological order. The colored sequences are all backwards, and Christopher Nolan said he wanted to do it that way because, you know, the narrator, because he's narrating the film, he's not a very reliable narrator because, you know, what he says and what he remembers isn't exactly, might not be true, you know. He's just trying to do his best, so he thinks, okay, that's true, because, yeah. And, uh... He has tattoos all over his body, and the tattoos are to find who killed uh, his who killed his wife. Um, John G is basically the name. That's who killed his wife. He's looking for John G. Um, Joe Pantoliano plays a cop. Uh, you know who? is there, he's helping assist Leonard in finding this guy. And, uh, Leonard basically used to be like, um, he was somebody who studied people. He studied people to see if one person was lying or not, and, um, he'd have to report it. Also stars Carrie Marie Moss. Yeah, I've uh, heard of the Matrix. So if you've seen those films, you know who she is. Um, but basically, uh, as the film goes on, you know, again, he, uh, yeah, he's an insurance investigator. Um, he's in a motel. 
room. He's speaking, talking to us. Uh, Somebody who's on the phone, you can't, you know, doesn't know who it is. And then, that's in the black and white sequences, because he's telling up this guy, you know, named Sammy, it's part of his job, and insurance investigator. And, well, well, let's just say, as the film goes on, it might be clear that Maybe what he's saying with Sammy, involving him and his wife and the condition he's got, um, perhaps it's actually Leonard. Or actually, the film pretty much states that, but and that it is. But you know, again, spoiler. But it, it isn't actually his. But Leonard's wife actually really didn't die. Um, you know, she was being raped and. Was dead, like there's Robert, the guy in the mask. He shot the guy, one guy, and then he goes in and how he lost his memory. The second attacker came in and smashed his head against the bathroom mirror, and then he fell, and you know, that's how that happened. Uh, and he just basically lost his the ability to form new memories. It's quite interesting, um, but you know, it's, it, it's quite a film. It's quite an interesting movie. If you haven't seen it, even though I kind of gave the spoilers away, but if you haven't seen it, it really is good because it's just how it all unfolds and how it all comes together, and it's it, it's quite interesting. It's it's very Christopher Nolan. -y, if that uh, makes sense. Uh, that probably sounds stupid, but you know, it's like very Christopher Nolan. It's very much his style of filmmaking. And um, it's a style I think people uh, pretty much they get they, when they see his films. They understand that this is what he does, this is how it's made. And um, it's, a, it's very good. It's a, it's a good movie. Uh, great performances by all. Um, Guy Pierce in particular, you know, he stands out, obviously, as the lead, but you know, it's a very him-centric character, and he's very good. I really enjoy it. Um, this is rated R. Um, this film is written by Christopher Nolan, but um, it was uh, it was based on a short story that his brother. Jonathan Nolan wrote, and um, this film it also got it actually got nominated for the uh, best original screenplay because the uh, short story actually was released after the film, so it could be eligible for the uh, original screenplay category. And I believe it was nominated for best editing also. Double check. Best film it didn't win either category, but um, yeah, um, I believe this film lost the original screenplay to Gossiford Park, which is a good film, but uh, granted, I'm biased towards Nolan, so I would have liked to have seen him win, but you know, Gossiford Park is a good film, it's very well written. Guy Pierce really didn't seem to get any big major accolades. He uh, lost Vegas Film Critics Association or Society for Best Film uh, for Best Actor in Script. So he won Best Actor at there. Um, he also won Best Actor at the San Diego Film Critics Society. Yeah. No one is nominated for the director's three best director. Director's 
awards, including Best Director at the yeah, Directors Guild. And he won at the Independent Film or Independent Spirit Awards. He also, yeah, the Independent Spirit Awards he won. Director and Screenplay. The film also won uh, Story of the Year by the American Film Institute. Um, it was also one of the top films of the year at, uh, by the American Film Institute and National Board of Review. Um, that's a very popular movie. Um, again, if you haven't seen it, uh, I'd suggest just to check it out. Uh, pay attention because it does go back and forth from ending to the very beginning uh, with the black and white sequences then it keeps going from where the last scene ended we go back and we see what all transpired there and um, and I have a DVD uh, of the of this film um, the t a two disc DVD where if you enter a code in on the second disc you can actually watch the film in chronological order so the end credits will actually be first you'll see that first they have all the uh, sending downwards instead of up um, it's quite interesting um, but yeah it's <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a very good film um, I like it I enjoy it it really help show the world who Christopher Nolan is and um, and his filmmaking style and just really from there on it began to really just go up for him so um, yeah I, I love this film I enjoy it uh, if you've seen it uh, do you like it do you enjoy it Yeah, uh, that's really all I had to say about it. Um, I didn't go super in depth, I guess, as I thought I would. But in terms of general premise, I guess I was a bit more in depth than uh, his uh, following. But yeah, next time I'll talk about Insomnia, which I feel is uh, one of his underappreciated films. He has a couple, uh, which I'll get to also later. Um, but yeah, so Insomnia, I think it's a good film, uh, I think all of his films actually are good, or if not great, uh, I guess I could say they're all great, but you know, hey, if I don't want to try and sound completely biased, I'll say, yeah, they're very good. But yeah, that's all I gotta say, uh, let's quit rambling on. Quite a bit short for my normal uh, uh, movie discussions. So there you go. I'm. That's all I gotta say. Hope you all will take care. I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye.